everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is vivian and in today's video i'll be sharing the process of how i made this denim baby doll dress with an oversized ruffled collar i've seen a few of these types of dresses online and on social media and since i already had this beautiful embroidered denim in my fabric stash i thought it would be the perfect piece to create and add to my wardrobe so let's get started I thrifted this fabric about a year ago, so I don't even know how much of it I actually have. So I'm just measuring it out, seeing if I have enough to cover all of my pattern pieces. After roughly placing all the pieces onto the fabric and started to cut some pieces out, I only then realized that I would be missing some fabric for a few pieces of this dress. So I went to my local fabric store to hopefully find a fabric that would match. Luckily, I was able to find the exact shade of denim fabric but without the embroidery, so I continued to cut out all of my remaining pattern pieces. By starting the bodice pieces, I noticed that they were a little smaller than I expected, so I added a small panel on each side. That way, when the time comes to sew the sides together, I can determine how snug I want the sides to be. Next, I'm preparing the front center hems by folding the raw edge inwards and then folding once again to create a button plaque. I decided to add buttons as a fastening and an easier way to put on and take off the dress. Now onto the back pieces, I'm just joining the center backs together with a straight stitch and then joining the two fronts and the back together by the shoulder hems. Next we're making the sleeves. To make the sleeves a little longer, I added a panel to the bottom hems with the new fabric. The joining seam will be concealed later on when we add the elastic cuff and when the fabric is bunched up together, it will look like one seamless piece. I then sew two rows of gathering stitches along the shoulder hem and pull the threads to start creating our puff sleeve. Once both shoulders are gathered, I measure an elastic that would fit comfortably around the circumference of my wrist and thread the elastic through the tunnel I sewed onto the inside of the sleeve. For the final main piece of the dress, I'm sewing together the panels I cut out from the two fabrics that make up the skirt. In order for the dress to look as cohesive as possible, I decided I would make the skirt of the dress with panels from both fabrics, joining them together, but then misaligning the seams to not make it too symmetrical. I sew two rows of gathering stitches at the top hem to have a nice ruffled skirt.
before putting all the pieces together, I am creating a collar with a ruffled hem. This process was a bit tedious and definitely a learning curve for me, so I'll be leaving the blog post in the description box below of how to properly attach a collar to a garment. For my collar, I went with a 70s design. It came out a bit more oversized than I initially planned for, but I think it makes a statement and overall goes nicely with the design of the dress. It looks like a giant blob of fabric right now, but we have attached the skirt to the bodice. We have attached the collar. We also attached the sleeve. Now all that's left to do is sew a straight stitch from the cuff all the way down to the hem and then obviously hem the dress because it's pretty uneven at the bottom. And oh yeah, I forgot to add in the buttons here. So yeah, just a couple steps left to do and the dress is done. later after I initially started making this dress for some reason at every step something would go completely wrong so it took me twice as long to make it I really thought it would take me just a couple of days to put it together but it ended up taking a lot longer than that um, the most difficult thing was putting the collar onto the dress it's the first time that I made a collar and attaching it onto a garment so that took a really long time for me to wrap my head around Overall, I am really happy with how this dress came out. I think it will be a great piece to add to my wardrobe and I was actually looking for a piece like this. If you're interested to see how I ended up styling this dress, follow me on Instagram at Modern Prairie and let me know in the comments down below if you'll be attempting to make a dress just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.